Do you like to stream? So do we. But internet service providers make it difficult at times and fail to allow us the freedom to do so effectively. They also make it difficult to prove that any sort of throttling, a reduction in internet speed, is taking place unfairly. Even when given the evidence they always try to find any excuse to fall back on, and believe me, there are a lot of them. As a live content creator this should light a fire underneath you because not only is this unfair to you but, it is also unfair to your viewers and friends. Potential revenue is lost because of throttling and this must stop. But the only way this will ever happen is if you speak up and do something about it. We know that our hardware and software are in working order, and that the problem is not on our end. Some of you have already witnessed this evidence, with limitations of course. As of today, March the 5th 2020 I am highlighting the past broadcast in which our internet speeds became intermittent. I have also taken screenshots of some of the tests we ran. The stream ran smoothly for about 3 hours before the problems began. Our bitrate output within OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, is set to 4800 kbps, well underneath what we should be able to broadcast at. With the internet speeds we are paying for, 400 down and 20 up, we should have no problem streaming at the highest resolution, frame rate, and bit rate that Twitch allows. We have done so before for extended periods of time. Throttling is a form of penny pinching and it is tantamount to theft because that change comes out of your pocket, unless you can prove as we are trying to do, that you have been throttled. We have been gathering evidence to report to the FCC using scene captures and video of ping checks, bandwidth monitoring, and speed tests. Intermittent internet is when your internet speeds are inconsistent. This can be monitored via the command prompt within Windows. We have seen on many occasions packet loss patterns. Packets are messages sent from a computer to router and modem or gateway, to the internet service provider and back so that a connection can be established or confirmed. A lost packet or packet that takes too long to send and receive is an indication of slow or no connection. This is also referred to as ping checking. Help us put an end to this behavior by letting others know. It is not okay for anyone to take money from your pockets in any way shape or form.